Good evening. Well, one thing about Rishi Sunak, he was put in to give us a bit of stability after the chaos of Boris and that very brief 45-day period of Liz Truss. And he certainly has bought stability, but none of it's been terribly exciting or very radical until now. And the first bold thing that Rishi Sunak has done as Prime Minister is, quite rightly, in my opinion, to veto the new equalities legislation that the Scottish Parliament passed for Nicola Sturgeon just a couple of weeks ago. And it's the right thing to do, in my opinion, for several reasons. Firstly, it almost certainly, although lawyers will always argue this to the nth degree, but it almost certainly runs in contradiction to the 2010 Equalities Act. Secondly, because it is really, really bad legislation. You don't believe me? Have a think about this. Over half of all transgender inmates in Scotland's prisons began to transition during or after their conviction. And yet, the Scottish Parliament even, you know, passed an amendment, you know, that says that sex offenders, sex offenders, male sex offenders, can still, after their convictions, designate themselves as females and be put in Scottish female prisons. That is my definition of really badly thought through legislation, a sort of herd mentality that we have to recognise identity rights. Well, what about women's rights? And that is, I think, a very, very big issue here. But perhaps even bigger than that, it's the first time in 25 years that a British government has said no to a piece of Scottish Parliament legislation. I've been wondering for the last couple of days, has Sturgeon actually willfully tried to provoke this row? Surely not. But what does it mean? Is this going to be a big plus for Nicola Sturgeon in her battle to break Scotland away from the United Kingdom? Or do the majority in Scotland say, no, actually, Westminster here has really done its job? We may have devolved powers, but we're still part of a United Kingdom. Difficult to predict how this debate goes. I have a sense, myself, that on this one, Sturgeon has bitten off more than she can chew, and a common-sense majority will actually see her case weaken. I think she's doing all of this because, frankly, she's in so much trouble with the Scottish public.